Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ET69, and welcome back to another episode of Hold My Beer. We have two replays for you today. We have the Hori, and we have this tank, the T54. Uh, a really, really good Russian medium tank. Now, this battle, this guy and T tank uh, 100 does get a little bit lucky towards the end um, because of the enemy. One of the enemies decides to lose connection. Uh, that's what I believe anyway. Um, but he is on Middleburg and he's gone up. He's gone to the medium uh, medium route as you normally would. Um, but considering there is, he's the only medium and the enemy have two, um, it is quite, uh, he's playing it quite aggressive. He's, he's relying on his team to come and uh, back him up. Now, if they would have all gone to the town, then he could have been in a lot of trouble, especially as there is quite a few tanks here. Now he has the backup of his team. He is now going to push a little bit further to try and get some shots into this Persian, who is just bleeding hit points. He's now a one shot and he is about to uh, die. Hopefully anti-tank. He needs to be careful not to poke up too much uh, to get a shot from the other tanks that are over this ridge. Now, there's one tank down uh, and now the uh, standard B decides to push around he does kill the tiger there goes the action x now if you can see the minimap a couple of these team have decided to go to town uh, and one of them has decided to start capping now that could work in his favor because that could draw the attention of these tanks um, to go into the town but uh, at the minute for some reason they got off the town there is a heavy now in town uh, on the enemy team so at least we know that is a tank one tank less that is up this side of the map and there goes the t28 so so far he has managed to uh to do two 2.3k damage and now as you can see the uh the standard b is a one shot there is the the, the J Panther there as well, uh, who's for some reason shooting HE. He is going to ignore the J Panther for now uh, to get rid of that standard B, and then he can uh, clear him, and that is his second kill. And he's now bringing it down to a three on three. Uh, obviously, he is up his he's on his own up this side of the map, and so is this Borzik. So the Borzik misses his shot, so he can now take the attention. Uh, and just rush, just rush him, uh, use the DPM, use the HE. Now the E75 on the enemy team has taken one tank out. So there's one tank in town, one TD in town versus two heavies. Now, one of those heavies, the E75 is about to go AFK or have a little bit of connection issues. So he's managed to dish out 4.1k damage. He's on three kills and he's not really lost any hit points. He's only lost the hit points that of the uh, J Panther with shooting HE. So he can reset his camo now. There's still four minutes left on the clock. So even though there's still a lot of time left, there's still a lot of hit points to get through. Now he's hoping that the heavies, they're not capping. They're not capping. So he's hoping that one of them, or at least one of them, is going to come and come this side of the map because this is where he was last spotted. But at the minute, no one is no one's heading towards him so he may have to make the move and go and try and find them because at the minute no one's still capping he really wants someone to cap so at least he knows where one of the tanks are and because they're not capping he now thinks that they, they are coming up and they're trying to cut him off and come up the middle instead of coming uh, where he was last spotted that they're, they're kind of anticipating where he was but then there is the cap the cap has started so if you just look at the cap points you can tell how many tanks are on it if there's one tank two tanks or three tanks uh, because of the speed it goes up and at the minute only one tank is on the cap. So where is that other tank? So he's going to go back to where he last was. Hopefully spot this tank. Um, at least now we know if only one tank is capping. The Both of the, the tanks are not together. They are separated. And he now spots that E75. Who is just sitting there in the open. That does get him spotted though. So at the minute he's not aware that the E75 is AFK. So he's trying to reserve his hit points, which is good play. Very good play. He doesn't want to bleed hit points if he doesn't need to. Um, but at this stage, I think maybe he is going to ignore the E75. I think he's kind of realized, okay, the E75 is AFK. So I'm just going to ignore him for now. And, and then I'm going to go and try and go for the KV4. Now, again, while he was spotted, he went to go one side and then he's 
decided to to backtrack and come the other way and hopefully uh, catch them off guard. But of course, with the E75 there, he is getting spotted. And you can just see he's just going to wait. He's going to try and reset his camo. Oh, no. That is not. It's his actual ping. Uh, oh, that was bad. 80, 80, 80 cap points and then his ping starts going luckily he does get it back on track he's not going to he's not going to shoot the uh the e75 but he is now going to go for the kv4 um the kv4 he does manage to reset the thing with the kv4 is it's so freaking slow and when you've got an e75 circling you there is literally nothing you could do about it now the e70 uh the e sorry the t54 is a great tank with a great turret now when he's in this kind of position because it's so low to the ground it's going to be very very difficult for this kv4 to be able to penetrate him uh, because the kv4 hasn't got the greatest depends anyway uh, and in the end it didn't even need it <laughs> he's just fluffed his shot anyway so with a minute left on the clock he does take out that guy for his fourth kill and now he can just soak up some damage with this e75 but it's not all over yet it's not all over yet. Is this E75 AFK? Now you can see that his turret is turning. The tank's not quite turning, but the turret is just turning. So we know he's around. We know he's there. But is it his connection? I'm a sh he can't be that bad of a player. I mean, the E75 actually does top damage on the on the enemy team. So it has to be his connection. But the uh, anti-tank here now, he's going to get a little bit cocky. He's going to get a little bit cocky. With 25 seconds left on the clock, he still needs to shoot this guy twice. Uh, leaves him on 78 HP. And now he's just going to circle him. 19 seconds left. And, of course, he's not going to shoot yet. He's going to shoot the rear. And he's going to ricochet. Now, there's only 10 seconds left on the clock. If he bounces again, then he could be in a bit of problem. And he could have got a draw. Um, when he just messed up and he didn't want to aim. But nevertheless, he took him out, five kills, and because of that guy with the loose connection or the shit connection, 8,129 damage. Well played. And he ended up nearly full hit points as well. So well played, anti-tank 100. Thank you for sending me that replay in. Mega, mega damage there in a, in a tier 9 as well. Yeah, you got lucky with the AFK. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to add this because he done a pretty good job. He reserved his hit points and he played the tank uh, correctly. Next up, we have the Hori, and I think it is driven by Mousy. Now, again, just like that game, this one is going to come down to the to the wire, but not uh, not like the other game. This is actually going to come down to the wire like properly, uh, not because of an AFK and because of a bounce. So he's on vineyards. Uh, the Cory's the actually a, a fantastic tank. We've started seeing more and more of them in the game. Now, the best thing about the Hori is it's got a lot going for it. It's got the speed, it's got the armor, it's got a nice gun, and it's got the it's got the DPM and the premium ammunition, which is a premium AP, literally does like five or ten damage less than the normal AP. So you may as well. It, it's got a lot more pen but it only does sort of 5 to 10 damage less than the normal AP. So you might as well just shoot the premium ammunition. You might as well. If you've got the credits and you can afford to waste a little bit of credits uh, to avoid certain bounces or potential bounces, you might as well load the premium ammunition. I'm surprised Wargaming hasn't sorted it. Um, I'm surprised they haven't lowered the, the damage on the, on the tank. But at the moment... He's just farming damage from the middle there. He's uh, got 1.6k damage or 1.7k damage. Uh, he's yet to be spotted. He's got a high roll. Hopefully, he can high roll there. 611. That's a nice roll from the Hori. And that's what every 10 seconds he's doing that damage. So, the Hori is so good. The Hori is really, really good. The DPM is just insane for what it is. And the armor is, as I've said, the armor is very, very, very troll. And if you can wiggle your tank... Um, when a tank's looking at you, then you will get bounces. If they, if you give them time to aim, then there are quite a few weak points in on the front of your on the front of your hull. So don't give them time. Don't give them time. Just wiggle, 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 and you will get some bounces. So so far, two minutes gone, and there is a tank down on each team, and he's farmed himself 3.9k damage. But look at his team; they are all 
bleeding hit points. There's like three one shots there. Um, there is two one shots on the enemy team. That 50B who just gets taken out by the bat chat. There is the E3 there as well. Very low hit points. And now a lovely shot there into the badger. Great tank to, to get rid of, especially when he's in that kind of position by the cap. Hold down. It's going to be very difficult to be able to penetrate him. So looking good for his team at the moment. A six versus four. A six versus four. There's an STB coming to the left. There's a standard B in the middle. And the E3 takes out the bat chat. So they've now bring it down to a four on uh, five on four sorry now he's going to rush the stb with his other td here he's hoping that the other td will push with him and he's just going to play it very very aggressive and the other td gets a lovely shot there stb's not looking is he going to go for the ram kill he does gets the gets the ram kill and he only loses literally not even what 21 hit points with that ram uh, he's getting a few bounces there from the the bat chap uh, but the enemy have now brought it down. They've, it's a two versus three. A two, uh, is a, there's a light tank and there's a medium tank. And of course, there is that TD. So it can still go any, any way. He's got the hit points and so has his uh, team. I'm not quite sure what his teammate, the object 268, is, is on. Uh, can't quite see the hit points he is on. But the enemy is capping. I'm guessing it is the E3 that is capping because he was around that side of the map. And at least we know if it is the E3, he should be a one shot so if he just rushes this e3 from a different direction as long as he's not facing the e3 because as we know the e3 has got just amazing amazing armor uh, and the e3 does manage to he does come off the cap and he is going for the the horry he's trying to get the gun down he's trying to use the gun depression and here comes the object 268 full yolo mode absolutely full yolo mode there he does manage to take out the e3 but he's just lost half of his hit points in doing that but that is absolutely perfect for mousy because he just remains full hit points now he can be, be a little bit more aggressive now he has the hit points but of course he still needs to play it cautious because if he gets caught out of position now he has a bat chat uh, he has a bat chat and he has, uh, is it the standard B, sorry, um, that are both very, very quick tanks. Now, he's waiting for the other tank and he's, and again, he is anticipating that he's going to come from this side where now we have the object 268 facing one way. He's facing another way. He's not on the cap. There he is. There's the bat chat. He does get a nice shot on the bat chat. Uh, the bat chat makes the right decision here. Perfect decision. Ignoring the horry going for the object 268 because of course he had the rear of the object 268 brings him down to a one shot and the, the standard b is now able to take him out so now he finds himself in a not so good situation he's got a standard b in front of him and he's got a bat chat behind him who is just farming him at the moment now in my opinion there is no way that this should be a win there's no way the standard B, to be honest, should just be rushing around this rock. He doesn't do that. He's going for the shots and he's going to find himself dead because he's doing that. If he would just find himself just running, he's, he's quick enough. He's quick enough. <laughs> if he would just run around the rock and wait for the bat chat, then this game would have been different but he is uh, a, a one clip there's one shot from the bat chat is he going to get the second he is is he going to get the third no he's not what a kill absolutely fantastic perfect timing to reload and he does take him out for his fourth kill 1500 block damage he gets there which was absolutely vital and he ends on 8067 damage in a ratings game as well so thank you guys for sending me that in hope you guys enjoyed it i'm meadsy and i'll catch you all soon bye bye